Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing fantastic. So over the last few months, I've gotten some comments about my diet, what I do to work out, and just generally how I stay in shape. I know that there's some people out there who want to live a healthy lifestyle and maintain it. So today I'm gonna to share with you guys my tips on how I stay in shape and maintain a healthy lifestyle. And hopefully you guys find some of these things helpful for yourself. Just a little disclaimer, I am by no means a health or fitness professional. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to know what your own body needs and how to best serve yourself. These are just the things that I do and what helps make me feel my best. So with all that being said, let's get into it. So I would say the biggest thing I do to maintain my health is I just eat really clean. I put good things in my body. If I'm being honest with you, my diet is like 70% fruits and vegetables and not because I like force myself to eat those things But I genuinely enjoy eating fruits and vegetables And I think my culture is a big reason why I eat the way that I do I'm Korean and a ton of our dishes have vegetables like as the main character I don't count calories. I don't follow strict diets and I don't really cut out large food groups entirely But I really do believe like everything in moderation. I think another big reason as to why I eat the way that I do is just the way that I was raised. Anybody who knows my mom knows that she is the ultimate health queen. We always ate at home. We never had any like snacks or junk food in the pantry. I didn't really grow up drinking soda or juice. It was always just water. And if you guys have seen my other videos, you know that I cook a ton and I enjoy cooking so much. On the weekends, I mean, sometimes like I'll go out to like restaurants with friends, but generally Monday through Friday, it's pretty much eat at home. And also cooking at home allows you to know what's going into your food. I've done other what I eat in a day videos before, but it always changes, you know? So currently I start my day off with a pre-workout drink, which is basically pre-workout powder. I kind of mix two, which I don't know if you're not supposed to do that, um, but I do it. <laughs> After that, I add some spirulina powder. It's a blue algae. It's really good for you. It really reduces inflammation and it gives me like so much energy. And then I add some lemon juice. I used to drink plain lemon water in the mornings, but now I just incorporate the lemon into my pre-workout drink. I give it a little mix with my milk frother and then fill the rest up with water. And I know it looks kind of nasty, but trust me, you can't taste the spirulina at all. This drink makes me feel so good. It gives me so much energy in the morning and it's just a great way to start my day. Something else that I started doing again is drinking celery juice. I used to drink celery juice in college, but then I kind of like stopped doing it because I got lazy. But celery juice is great at detoxifying your liver. I started drinking it again because I was starting to break out a little bit on my face. It's also great for reducing inflammation and helps you stay regular if you know what I mean. And the last part of my eating habits is that I don't eat late at night or I don't eat right before I go to bed. For me, if I eat right before going to bed, I have trouble falling asleep. Not eating like a few hours before I actually start getting ready for bed helps with my digestion and helps me get better sleep. So now let's talk about what I do to work out. I have always been a super active person. I used to be a figure skater and a dancer, so exercising has always been like the norm for me. Even in high school, I used to wake up at 5 a.m. to run three miles every morning, which sounds pretty excessive and it was, but I'm just a very routine kind of person. If I make it a goal to do something every day, I will do it without fail. Right now I go to the gym five days a week, but I actually might cut that down because I think it might be too much for my body, but I genuinely love just going to the gym so I still want to share with you guys my exact workout routine. For a little warm-up I just walk on the treadmill for like 15 minutes. Sometimes I do an incline of 10 and then if I do leg day then I go on the Stairmaster for 15 minutes. By the end of the 15 minutes I'm sweating. After my warm-up I'll then hit the machines and do workouts for either my upper body or lower body. I personally like to do low weight high reps just because I like the results it gives my body but I know some people love to lift heavy. The most important thing is to do the things that are going to get you the results that you want. And you can probably tell in these clips, like, I am not a huge gym person. <laughs> I honestly kind of just go for, like, myself and because I like to work out. So at this point in my workout, I'll hit the mat and I'll do some mat exercises. After watching so many YouTube workout videos, I've pretty much memorized, like, all my favorite upper and lower body exercises. So I'll just do those. I was also in like a little Pilates space at the beginning of this year, so I'll kind of like incorporate my Pilates movements into those workouts. 
And lastly, I'll just end with a little bit of stretching. I think it's the dancer in me that is conditioned to always stretch before and after my workout, but stretching also prevents injury and promotes faster recovery of your muscles. So y'all better be stretching. And finally, we've come to the self-care portion of my tips for staying in shape. I don't know if this counts as self-care, but one of the biggest things I do to stay in shape is to sleep at a decent time. Because one, I wake up at 5 a.m. so I have to sleep early, but also two, sleep gives your body time to recover. If you work out really hard or you do a lot of things in a day, your body needs that time to rest and rejuvenate itself to get ready for the next day. Also, getting enough sleep helps to reduce your stress, which we all know reduces your cortisol levels. And if your cortisol levels are super high, you're gonna hold a lot of water retention, your digestion's gonna be super poor, and you might end up eating things that aren't so good for your body. Because I know when I'm stressed, you know I'm reaching for the chocolate, the candy, the chips. I'm not reaching for the lettuce, okay? If I'm stressed, I want the foods that are gonna make me feel good, which are not the healthiest foods. So that's why I really try to keep my stress levels under control. Do I still get stressed? All the freaking time. But I know how to manage my stress. One of the ways I do that is through meditation and mindfulness. I've been trying to get into meditation for like the longest time and I always feel like I make excuses. But very recently, I started doing it every day and I've noticed significant changes in my stress levels. It's something so simple, but really just taking the time for yourself I've really learned to just take things one day at a time and to really be in the present moment. If there's one thing you take away from this entire video, is to take care of your mental health along with your physical health. Because even if you work out all the time and you eat the right foods, if you are constantly thinking negative thoughts, if you're always stressed, it's going to affect your entire body. Our bodies are a holistic system and we have to take care of every part of that system so that it can allow us to live our best lives. And that is everything I do to stay in shape. I hope you guys found this helpful and that you can apply some of these things in your own routine. Again, I am not saying that you have to do everything that I do or that you should do everything that I do. Everybody's body is different and it's really important to know what your own body needs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your health or fitness tips are in the comments below. I'd love to read them. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye! and I need a water break. Drink your water. I hope you guys found this helpful and applicable to eat. <laughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. I try to eat clean, unprocessed food. Why is this light flickering? <clears throat> Why do I keep burping? Bro, please, I'm trying to film a video. Thank you.